So have you heard of this this myth that goes around every once in a while that your body replenishes itself every seven years? Yeah, and it's like, how am I the same person if all my cells are different? Turns out that's not really true. Different tissues take different times to turn over. First, you've got things like the lining of your gut, which is in this very harsh environment. So that turns over every few days. You've got your skin, which turns over every few weeks. Mm -hmm. And you get sort of a new, fully new batch of red blood cells every few months. It's actually those breakdown products that give your bruises a yellow color. And your pee is just yellow because of red blood cells. Your skeleton mostly refreshes every decade or two. So you've got cells that are breaking down your bones and then other cells that are rebuilding them all the time. Your fat cells also turn over, but super slowly. When you like gain and lose weight, that's just the cells getting bigger and smaller. So those are the things that, that turn over over the course of your life. But there are a few things in your body that remain from birth to death. Some of the muscle cells in your heart, those turn over super slow. Mm. So when you die, you have about half of the heart fibers that you were born with. Then in your brain, there are some places that, that make new neurons, but mostly you sort of have this set of neurons. They're changing how they connect, but they're not dying or, or being born. And then of course, there's, there's this one part of you that doesn't change throughout your entire life. Before you're born, this little cluster of cells comes together and makes the lens in your eye. Yes. That's, you've got that for your entire life. And scientists figured a lot of that out thanks to this accidental timestamp known as the bomb pulse. You have been sort of obsessing over the bomb pulse yeah. for the past few weeks. Yeah, I mean, it's just one of these crazy serendipitous research methods that resulted from the nuclear tests of the 50s and 60s changing the makeup of the carbon in the atmosphere, which then ended up sort of putting these timestamps in everything. And one of the most interesting ways that I've seen the bomb pulse used is investigating the illegal trade in elephant ivory. Go check it out.